Hey everyone, we're back to do some of my favorite techniques today from the back position. We're gonna look at some chokes and some other transitions and it's all really good stuff. So if you like what you see, make sure to like and subscribe. Now go train. So like when you guys make it to the back, please. When you guys make it to the back, there's two sides to the back. Okay, it depends on what direction I fall to. I mean, they're gonna fall to the right or to the left. Okay, if I fall to the right, it's gonna be more for a rear naked choke. Okay, and we'll get there. If I fall to the left, it's gonna be more for arm lock. Okay, but we do have chokes from here as well. And this is the side we're falling to with this position. Okay, it's this left side. Okay, so if I end up here, if I don't want to go for the armbar, maybe like Mike's already on his armbar defense. Uh, so I think like you're going to block this arm and you're going to cover it. Yeah, good. So if Mike's already here blocking his arm from being bent, armbar might not be the best option for me because I'm going into his defense. Okay. So if I come to this position and I see Mike defending the armbar, I want to attack his collar instead. And if you guys look, I'm flipping that seam of his collar. Okay, I want to think about using the seam of the gi to choke him. If you guys look, if I use the edge of the gi, it doesn't actually go all the way across his neck. But if I flip and use the seam of the gi, it'll travel all the way across his throat to make a, a tighter choke. Okay, so when I'm here, what I'm going to look to do next is reach under Mike's leg, turn him back to the other side and cross my feet. Okay, from here I'm in the bow and arrow choke, I can start leaning back to get the choke. Now, if you guys look, I'm just pulling that right elbow in as I lean back into the position. And that's what's gonna help me to get the finish. Okay, so one more time. Go ahead and sit up. <laughs> when I fall to the back and I end up to the weak side of the back, which is the side with the underhook, I have two options. I can either go for an arm bar or I can go for a choke. In this situation, he's defending, so the choke's gonna be a good option for me. Now from here, I want to think about rotating around Mike. So I want to get as perpendicular to him as possible. So look, I do this little press with my legs as I pull on his collar. Left foot goes over the shoulder. And now I can start hiking that leg up and coming to the position where I can get the choke. Okay, let's add the bow and arrow choke and then we're going to put it together. One, two. Three.